You want it every time. You want to give it to you. What you don't understand is that I don't want that bubbly looking thing. I look at those fried and big fat. I want you. And if you are eating the husker, I, I want to get closer to that to find out what I can do to have my father around me. I wanna. I don't want to know pig husker. I don't want to know can I pork ride and I. I want to know you. So you see me when I, when I asked you for the husk, you gave it to me before, and you know I did not like it. Then why would you give it to me again? Obviously, I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for you. But when I see Luke chapter 15, pray, I always think of the poor pride. It's bubbly, it's nasty looking. It's one of those things that um, you cannot appreciate the taste of as a kid. It's like some things now I cannot eat that I used to eat as a kid. My cousins would go to uh, have a quarter, right? We'll get a pack of chips. I eat that. I don't like salt, salty stuff. I still don't like salty stuff. But when I don't give a bag of chips, I would get a bag of uh, Dipsy Doops. You don't know what that is, uh, the Dipsy Doops, right? I like cheese doodles, but I like the uh, orangey uh, uh, look on my fingers. Then I start opening the baggage and shaking it into my mouth, hoping that I would give me a better result. It did. I had cheese stuff and powder all over my face. So I'm trying to avoid mess on my finger, just pouring uh, cheese doodles into my mouth like I'm a Hoover back. You don't, don't help me because I can't clean me the way I want to be clean. So I can't eat this no more. That's why I said, Jimmy's right in hand. I understand. But even I wipe my hands, that color is still there. I can't get rid of it. I was a weird kid. I was saying that, but I know, I, I, I know how to hide it. I'm still a weird person. I know how to hide it well. And the people that, that love me, that know me, they, they just give me that like to this year. They know. When I looked at the husk, I thought, I thought, I thought, I said, Lois eats those uh, peanuts, and then they come out of the peanut shell, and the husk is left. And, he, and James, he also ate those poop brown things. The husk being a peanut outer thing don't make sense, but the uh, uh, rinds, it does make sense. That it would be a program like uh, um, um, material. It would be like a program, you understand? Rather than being the outer covering of a shell, I know somebody, right? One of these things does not belong. I know I don't know. So James, I was dealing with the husk. I just did not know. And I was not sure who was. But when I read uh, uh, Luke chapter 15, I said, oh. I said, then I want to look at the husk. I said to myself, no matter where the husk was, the next time I saw it, I was going to make it. It's probably it's like, like sunflower seeds, right? You bite that little sunflower seed open, and I mean, we didn't want to get them, so you, we would pour like five or, or six or ten sunflower seeds in our mouth and just crack them open one by one in our mouths without doing anything. And that's just, you grow up like that, right? Because you're smart to get rid of that outer thing, and you just don't know what to call it. And then when they came out with the sunflower seeds plus an extra added version of it, monosodium glutamate, <laughs> they barbecue uh, sunflower seeds. It wasn't was barbecue inside, it was barbecue on the outside. I think they understood that they, that if I was sucking the seed on the outside and then cracking it and then throwing it away. I don't understand this, but now I'm, I get it. I think they understood that people, you have to put it in your mouth. Most people don't know what I did. Put my tin in your mouth and just crack them and push, crack them and push. Because nobody wants to keep touching that salty thing, the covering. Because the, 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 the powder sometimes, the white powder can get on your hands. The powder. I don't like that. I still don't like that. You don't see me eat duck seeds ever? I still don't like that. Don't touch me, powder. I put it in my mouth, crack them all in my mouth, and eat them all, right? And not make the mistake of biting into the husk of another while it's in my mouth. I wouldn't make that mistake. Because I was used to it. 
Who God are thank you? I just looked it up. It says it's the outer covering of, uh, of, the, of the net. I said, oh. Who well, we spent the last one thought about saying, I'm on the son that thought I was a fool. Last year. It's about me. It's about what I did wrong. I ain't going to do it with the It's about me. I did this wrong. It's about me. I'm sorry, I'm not an idiot. This book saying the, the shell, the husk, is the outer covering of. I need God, my Lord. The husk is the outer covering of the nut. I said I lost my mind and started acting crazy, right? I was doing what I was told to do. I wasn't responding appropriately, right? As a matter of fact, there was a misappropriation of funds dealing with me because of past that was set to, to get an account for me. Could not get that account or an account, right? So I, I misappropriated the funds, right? Because of the fact that they told me to do things that I did not do. It. How can they get an account for me? You know? And I'm telling you that if you were trying, right? And I was trying. I was trying a little bit. I just started trying enough. I didn't give it. I didn't throw everything that I know away and then just go straight for trying. I started trying it, plus this. I'm going to try, but I'm not going to keep this with me. And the more I say, I'm going to keep this with me, but try. I'm going to keep this with me, but try. Do you realize the very thing that you are pulling across the finish line is the one thing that will stop you from crossing it? I try, but I pull. I try, but I got this. I try, but I keep this. A Bible says, uh, signs, wonders, and miracles follow them that believe. But Jamie has said, why ain't nothing come out of my uh, life? Because uh, Jamie, nothing can come out of your life. Uh, because the thing that's supposed to be following you, the word says, uh, you are pulling uh, other things with you too. Uh, pulling off uh, people that call themselves family, kind of. That's not just what to do. Now they won't respond to me at all. They don't pay any attention to me or respond to me at all. And, and, in any manner. Any manner. I know God was saying that this here this is my family. He said, you keep going for that. This here is your family. I can't let you live in that because what has to happen is they have to look Clara, back over their life and think things over her and think Clara, I, have, I, want, I don't know what I got right now, but I want what Jamie got to I want the glory of God, and nobody will look at their lives and say, I want what you got when you are trying but pulling, trying but pulling, trying but pulling. How did I kill it? Who's going to account for you? I said, I'm not there. I said, who's praying for me? Because even though I'm going to visit somewhere, they get answer, and I'm going to visit somewhere. And I could have I could have hired it. Ain't nobody picking me up in their spirit. They don't have to. Because I'm not what I could have We think that starting not to be a member is like starting on that lock. It ain't about that. Uh, when you become a member, uh, God takes your members uh, and, uh, and, uh, and throws them away. Uh, what would normally get you fiery, uh, you have grace for today. And uh, you got new mercies. Trying to live today. So even if you go visit, uh, I go on visitations to it, a church of applications. Uh, uh, I'm just making the Is that it? And I'm going to epic visit to a church, right? And then they're going to and they give, me, give me a prophetic word. Did it happen? Yes. They can give you whatever they want. Right now, you know that I'm going to this world is crazy. Right now, I am known as a free member. You get it? But a free member is not free, but bound. Right? Because a free member is bouncing back and forth between different places. A free member is a well-lit member. Let some gasoline be on the way. Let me go somewhere. Do you get that when an ember meets the red catalyst, a fire, an explosion occurs? I need a lot of Somebody to pray for me, uh, lifting up holy hands, uh, meeting God for me, uh, meeting God for me, I need, uh, I need, 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 why well, so important for you to get in the house on faith and get in there and stay in the game and now 
is because I got paid in a while. You lying off of a, it's a pastor that, 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 that make an account for you. If you ain't got an account and you get it, it's like the bank. I'm not gonna lie. And you go to the bank and say, I want to give you my money. Uh, they will not have a, they will they take it from you, but they will not hold it. They can but you just ask for an account. Uh, if you're like, I need you to hold my money, uh, then they will offer you a list of uh, uh, a checking account, a uh, uh, savings account, a uh, uh, um, commerce account, a uh, account for crayons, right? But account for um, a color pencil, those things accounts, the things I see in front of me because I ran out of words. If you don't have an account, like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I the bank will not and cannot hold money for you. You get it? So you don't have an account, if you don't have an account, so somebody has to be making an account for you. Somebody's got to be praying for you. So now tell them, if you're walking around in this world, you get, I just said to me, said, Jamie, tell them, right? The Bible says, land for yourself, church of heaven. Some people think, oh, I can do it at home. I can do it without anybody. I can do it by myself. You can't. Doesn't no matter what you do while you are outside of a body. God uses it, and the person gets a, uh, the person can get the benefit and achieve glory of God. God will use it, but you don't get nothing from it. He said, I'm just uh, 19, 21, the same um, uh, of treasure you are laying up for yourself. Uh, uh, must no rust, duck, ruffle, and thieves can't break it. still, must not I can be guarded by the account that your pastors make up. And you want to get a benefit from it? Get in a church right now. And I can get in a church. <laughs> Do it. Now. That's a sidebar, right? It's all about the husk. And the husk, right, is not what James was eating. It's not a pork, right? It is the 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 shell of a nut. I see. I was wondering who my mom a couple months ago. Does that mean that I have a husk? Like she said, what? I said, yeah. You mean I have a husk? I'm a nut. I wish you had taken me by my shoulders and just hit me real hard. Like, they were me, right? Like, basically, right? Saying, Jenny, you're acting like a nut. You're acting like a nut. You're acting like a nut. You are acting like a nut. Yeah, a lot of stuff is going on in your life, Jenny. But that means that don't eat up. That means you're listen to the Holy Spirit and the pastors. You absolutely can listen to everything your pastors are saying and the Holy Spirit while you're going through it. How do I know? Kids do it. I was around and I was like, getting stuff together. And I said, maybe she's like two at this point. And I said, baby, come on, let's go. We're going to go shopping. Me, you and Samantha, we're going to go shopping. Fine, baby. You, me, you and Lonnie, go shopping. We're going to shopping, baby. Come on. Dora was on. Girl did not want to. She didn't flinch. She didn't turn. She didn't look at me and roll her eyes. Nothing. She did not shake. I don't even know if she's blinking. I'm not sure. I check. I'm not sure. How so I know that Mimi heard me is when Samantha came in the room and said, Ah, get out! I said, Samantha, just want to watch the TV. I, I sat down. I said, Okay, she want to watch TV. That was an like extra TV time. It was like a TV thing. I'm, I mean, kids, I'm actually a kid pushover. That's what kids like me. I said, Okay, she, she want to watch some TV. That's okay. Samantha looked at me and said, What y'all doing? I just said, I think maybe we want to finish the show. I think we want to finish it. She said, what? She said, ah, get up! She didn't, maybe didn't even look at me. Samantha came in and ah, get up. She heard that. Get up from there. Holy Spirit told me last night, he said, Jamie, the reason why you're going through like you were going through is because of the fact that they were telling you to listen and you were hearing. Because y'all didn't hear it. That just made you there. That's what they say, let's have a meeting. That just made you there and you were in- earshot of them, but you ain't thinking about that. Good job. Hear it. He wasn't getting into my heart. I wanted to tell my heart. He wasn't getting my heart. He said, that's because you were letting You were hearing. You were listening. So stay in the ear level, right? At the ear skin. Stay in the ear skin. 
and then it's a Jafar. Do you understand that listening is about Jafar? I didn't know that. If you let what you hear into your heart, you will apply it. That's what the Spirit's saying to me. I don't know. I haven't started applying yet. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying. I don't, I don't know if I'm good at it yet. Probably because my heart is not tender. The answer was with me the whole time. I'm saying, well, did I try to find the answer to why I am not behaving like I should be? What's wrong with me? Ain't nothing wrong with me except my sin nature. And the fact that I'm listening to what my skin says about my sin instead of listening to what God is telling me. If I listen to what God is saying, if I listen to it, then it becomes. A heart man. We must go from a hearing to a heart to you. You understand? Uh, I have come on me, my heart to obey God. Uh, I can't do this alone. So uh, you must stop employing your ears and start employing your heart. Uh, your ears, God is saying right now, your ears work. They ain't designed to work. They're going to work automatically. You don't have to work uh, your ears to get where you are going. What you need to do is ask God to come into your heart uh, and teach you how to do what you are uh, listening to. Right? Uh, I don't need to assign my ears to anything. They I'm going to do what they're supposed to do because God created me. It's the thing is, uh, I need to work my ears. I need to uh, make sure my heart is open. You work in the wrong member. That's why you got embers. <laughs> it's not funny, but I make fun. You know what I'm saying? You're working on the wrong member. I mean, what's the body is ears, right? But you're working the ears. I'm working the ears. I'm working the ears. You're working the wrong member. Why are you working ears like that? The ears are going to work. Why are you concentrating on working something that already works? Forcing out of some 